I'm going to cover the S option of account change. The S option is change accounts using a spreadsheet file. This option allows you to make numerous account code changes at once via a CSV or tabbed limited file. The spreadsheet must contain a header row with labels. The SSDT has created a template and made it available online for everyone. In the UCS documentation space, underneath the UCS reference section, you go to the account change chapter. In the upper left hand corner of that chapter is a paper clip. Go ahead and click on that and that's going to show you all the attachments associated with this chapter. This is where we put the account change CSV file. So I'm going to click on that and open it up. This is the first row is the required header records for the account change program. They have to match those exactly, otherwise the program won't know what to do with the dimensions. Budget and revenue accounts may be processed in a single file if desired. The S option will prompt if the spreadsheet should be processed for validation only or add records to the account change IDX file, with the default being the validation. Any errors or warnings encountered while processing the spreadsheet file will be written to an account change error text file, showing the old and new accounts and the error associated with them. The V option is recommended to be run first and will simply validate your changes and report any warnings or errors. Once the validation run is clean, it's recommended to rerun account change using the S option and an actual run, which will add the account changes to the account change IDX file. If the spreadsheet is being processed for an actual run without a clean validation run first, any fatal errors encountered will prevent that account from being written to the account change IDX file. Upon completion of the S option, the account change program will be exited. To proceed with actual updates to your accounts, it will be necessary to rerun account change answering yes to continue with the existing account change IDX file and using the E option. You want to say yes to continue using the file if, because if you do not, then you're going to wipe out all of the changes that you just added to the account change IDX file. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to walk you through an actual run. I'm going to open up my spreadsheet first to make sure that I have the required header row um, and make sure everything is formatted correctly as well. You do need to keep all leading zeros in the CSV file. By default, if the cell is not formatted as a text format, Excel drops the leading zero, so you're going to have to reformat that every time you open it through Excel. The easiest way that I found to format these is just to highlight the columns that are similar, such as your fund, your OPU, and your job are all three um, characters. So I'm going to highlight those, and I'm going to go to the format, and I'm going to format cells. I'm going to do a custom, and I'm going to type in three zeros and now it's formatted to be three digits long. If you have a lot of account code changes, instead of actually keying in every single one of those, you can run a bud work or a bud sum or a rev work or a rev sum and pull in all of your account codes that way into an Excel sheet and then you can just insert that first or first row with the required column headers on it. So once I've made all of my changes to my spreadsheet that I need. I'm going to save that as a CSV file. Once it's been saved, I now need to file transfer that into Reflections. You can use any kind of file transfer protocol that you want. Um, mine that I usually use is FileZilla. It's just an easy drag and drop. You have to make sure that your file type is ASCII for your spreadsheets. So I'm going to go ahead and on my left hand side is my PC and on my right is Reflections. So I found the file that I want. I've highlighted that. I want to put it in my account change directory. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a drag and drop. It's gone in there. It tells me the transfer was successful. So I'm done in here. So now I'm going to go into Reflections. I'm in the account change program and I want to do the S option. My file name is account change CSV. My spreadsheet type is CSV. This first run I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a validation only which is the default so I'm going to hit enter. It looks like I do have some errors or warnings that I need to review before I actually put these on the account change IDX file. 
So I'm just going to do a menu view on that air file. And it looks like all of my are warnings. And it's just telling me that the new account already exists. So do I want to collapse those together? And I do. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of here. Everything looks good for me. So I'm going to go back into account change. I'm going to do the S option. But this time I'm going to say A because I want to add the records to that account change IDX file. They've been added. I can review the account change error text file if I want. I know that it's all going to be what I just saw on the validation. So I'm okay with that. So I'm going to go ahead and run account change. And this time I'm going to say I need to say yes to continue using this file because it just wrote everything that was on my spreadsheet on the account change IDX file. And this time I want to end the session and update transaction files with the information that's been entered. I have the ability if I want to to run this in a batch file. I would recommend that for most because that will run it in the middle of the night so there's less likely to have file lock errors. I don't have anybody in my files so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to say no I don't want to run this in batch and by saying no it's actually going to run through all of my files right now and change and make those updates. I can review the account change text file that was created and what this does is it just gives you the account, the file that it was on, um, and what was changed on it. So you can print that for auditing purposes.